It's so good. Okay, who is with me on this? I love a good casserole. They're quick and easy. When I don't have a lot of time to cook, I know that I can just like whip one together and they're always so yummy. So today I have got two delicious casserole recipes to share with you guys. So let's get started on this first one. Okay, for this first one, we are making a pizza pasta casserole. Like right up my bunkie's alley. You're gonna be obsessed, aren't you? I know, yeah. He's gonna love it. But there is a way to make this recipe. I'm gonna add ground beef and um, green bell pepper to ours. You can also do onion. If you do not add those three things and you just wanna do pepperoni, you don't even have to like cook the meat. You don't even have to cook your pasta. There is a way to do this just like one dish, throw it together, throw it in the oven. So I will type out that recipe below, but because I wanna add a little bit more flavor, I'm gonna do the ground beef and saute the green onion, or I said the green onion, <laughs> saute the green pepper with it and add a little bit more flavor. Yeah. I was gonna ask you, you didn't mention the pepperoni at first. I was like, how are, how are we gonna call this pizza without the pepperoni? Oh, there's but, pepperoni, but that's like one on top. But yeah. I'm gonna do like uh -uh. some, yeah. We're gonna do like garlic, oh. green pepper, all the things. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Like, you are going to be obsessed with this. I'm, I'm hopeful. Is this gonna be better than spaghetti pie? I no, don't know. No, nothing can be better than that. I've got my water boiling back here. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of salt to my water and then I'm gonna use this rotini pasta. So we'll go ahead and get this cooking as well. To season this ground beef, since I'm not going to add onion to this, I'm just going to add a little bit of onion powder to give it just a hint of that flavor. And then some red pepper flakes to give it some heat. And a little bit of oregano. Now once this cooks for a little bit, I will add in some minced garlic. I just don't want it to burn. And then I'll go ahead and add in our green bell pepper as well. But if you are making this with onion, you can go ahead and just add it in with your ground beef and let it cook while this cooks. Okay, I would say just like two or three minutes left on this, and then I just cut off our noodles because they are done, so I'm gonna go ahead and drain these. Now, I went ahead and drained off like as much excess grease as I could, and then to that, I'm just gonna go ahead and add this four cheese pasta sauce. If you wanna just do like crushed tomatoes, you can. I would just season the meat like a lot more flavorful if you're just gonna do crushed tomatoes, but since this is what I have, this is what <laughs> I'm gonna use. Now that we got our meat cooked, sauce in there, noodles cooked, all we have to do is assemble this bad boy, pop it in the oven. Mm, I'm really liking the green peppers in there, I think. I think you're gonna love it. I can smell it just right here. Uh-huh. And they smell. Oh, this smells so good already. It, it smells like pizza. Yeah. To my nine by 13, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it. Kind of back away to avoid the spray. Okay, then I'm gonna put a base, actually, let's put a little base layer of sauce down. What do you think? I think that'll be good, yeah. Just like a little bit to kind of give the noodles something, you know? A nice little resting place? Yeah. Now, Bunky. A little bit more? That didn't do nothing. <laughs> we don't need a lot down first, just a little something. Okay. Okay, now. Can I do something with that? Yeah. Why don't you just, okay, that's a good idea. Why don't you just layer this? No, oh, that's all I wanted to do. That's nice, nice coverage. That, that was a great idea. Now, to that, we're gonna add in like half of our noodles because we're gonna layer this, okay? Uh-huh. Okay, more of our sauce. Now, I have a question for you. Do you want pepperonis on every layer or just the top? Ooh, every layer. Every layer, okay. Oh yeah. Well, let's put pepperonis down first. Okay, perfect. Like it. Now, to top our pepperonis, we're gonna add a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Now. Don't be stingy in those corners now. Okay, well hang on. Now we're gonna add the rest of our pasta. This is looking fantastic. Is that pan heavy? A little. <laughs> this is getting heavier by the second. <laughs> okay, rest of our pasta sauce going down. I think that's our pizza filling. Pizza filling, just kidding. 
feel like we might need a little more. I know. Maybe we shouldn't have put any on the bottom. I know, but the babe. fact that it is on the bottom is going to make everything okay. I know. But I feel like we need like a little something up here, don't you? Where's that? Uh, there's, there's a little bit left in the jar. You know, there is a jar. We have an open jar of pizza sauce. Oh, let's do that. Yeah. It's on the like back okay. left. Oh, that's such a good idea, B. Yes, ma'am. Let's give that some nice paintbrush strokes. Yeah, so we have this whole entire jar of pizza sauce, so I'm gonna add like tons of dollops of this to the top. Oh yeah. Can wow. you even, can you even? I cannot. Okay, now, pepperoni. Again. Again. Are you putting the cheese on top of the pepperoni? Yes, or you want it underneath? Oh, let's put it underneath and then the cheese on, I mean the pepperoni on top. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to pepper, but how long is it going in the oven for? Because it's pepperoni. 25, 30 minutes. Oh, that's how long a pizza sometimes cooks for. Frozen pizza. Let's do that many on the bottom here. Okay. And then cheese. And, and a then, few more. And then, yeah, more on top. Okay. And by the way, I got the pizza blend cheese. So it's not just mozzarella. It's mozzarella, provolone, and Parmesan. So if, you know, you want to add just some Parmesan, if you have mozzarella, that would also be good. Oh, or you could do some black olives. Like so many things. You can literally make this however you want your pizza. You're making us into a supreme pizza over here. Yeah. Wonderful nutty saltiness. Okay, then we're gonna throw a few pepperonis on top because when it comes out of the oven, you want people to know that it's a pizza casserole. Right. Wow, wow, Bunky. Bunky's already changed clothes. It's Friday. I'm into my, my nice, comfortable threads for Woo! the weekend. Yes. Look at this. Mm. Is that not just like the most beautiful thing ever? The decision is which corner do I go for? I'm thinking over here. This is, this is where you put the extra pepperonis on this one. So maybe then this section. Yeah. Wow, it just looks amazing. And y'all, I wish you could smell this. Oh, it smells just like pizza. Just like pizza. Yeah. I mean, you know what? what? Maybe some crushed red pepper flakes. I put that in the um, oh, you did? ground beef. You snuck it in on me, huh? Come on now, let's get into this thing. Wow. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. Oh. Should I get some of this? goodness out of here too yes this looks amazing this does this is like when you talk about uh you know something baked in a 9 by 13 this is what this you is, want baked this is where my mind goes <laughs> mm, look at the cheese just look at that cheese my goodness girl when them eyes shut, <laughs> mm. I know it's good. Wow. I love when you call me girl. Remember when we made that pizza dip in the crock pot? Uh-huh. This is like 10 times better. No way. Oh yeah. Let me get a green pepper here. My gosh, this is so good. Can you imagine if there was actually like sauteed onions and black olives in there? You know what I think would be good in it? What? Mushrooms. I actually saw a recipe where someone mm -hmm. said they saute mushrooms and add to it. Yeah, that would uh, that would amp it up a little. I mean, no complaints as is. Like it is just stupendous. Yeah. I think the uh, did it tell you to use this type of pasta? No. Or did you select rotini? I selected rotini. Rotini is wonderful for well, this too because it kind of like the um, it's kind of well. I guess it's not like baked ziti, but it reminds me of baked ziti. Yeah. yeah. All the recipes I looked at, I'm pretty sure that's what they used. Yeah, this is great. Okay, who is ready for one of the best casseroles ever? Because I am just so excited. It is gonna be so delicious. That first casserole, it like had Bunky's name written all over it. You guys know he loves pizza. Like that is just so him. But this one, it's all me. Oh my word. We are making a chicken teriyaki casserole. Yes, you heard that right. I literally cannot wait, so let's go ahead and get to cooking. The first things first, grab your nine by 13 and then preheat your oven to 350. Then I'm gonna go ahead and spray my casserole dish. 
and then just place your chicken right on in here. And now the recipe calls for chicken breast and you can absolutely do that. It'll just take a little bit longer to cook. And since I had some tenderloins, I'm just gonna use the tenderloins. Now to this chicken, you're gonna add in a bag of like stir fry veggies. And normally you can find that like in the produce section of your grocery store. Mine did not have any, so I just grabbed a bag of carrots and then a head of broccoli. I'm gonna go ahead and wash this and then cut it up into like bite-sized pieces. Now if your grocery store also does not have the bag of stir fry veggies, then just get the carrots, the broccoli, and then I think they're called like snow peas. You could also add those in, kind of like whatever veggies you wanna throw in there. y'all like down here so I'm squatting but now that we got everything in our baking dish we're gonna go ahead and make the sauce that we're gonna drizzle over top of it and this is like where all the flavor comes from so it's like that soy sauce and ginger and garlic and brown sugar and just like all of the best things put together it's going to be so good y'all already know I'm gonna totally eyeball this but to my saucepan I'm gonna add in oh that's very warm already <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of low sodium soy sauce you could also do like amino acids if you wanted to do that. I think the recipe says about three fourths of a cup. We're gonna add in a little bit of water, about a quarter cup of brown sugar. So we're just gonna do a couple big tablespoons. We'll add some ground ginger. And you know what, the recipe doesn't call for um, sesame oil, but I might add a dash in here because you guys know I love that flavor. I'm gonna grate some garlic in. I'll do just a little dash of sesame oil. I just left that huge piece of garlic in there because I'm like, why not? It'll just give it some more flavor. So I'm gonna stir this together and then just let these flavors kind of marry together for a few minutes. And then we'll make like a little cornstarch slurry to add in there to kind of thicken our sauce up. So I'm gonna put like a little spoonful into some water, maybe a little bit more. Give that a stir and then we'll pour it into our saucepan. Okay, I just turned this down because see how we have like this little bit thicker consistency? That is exactly what we want. I'm gonna let this cool off for a few minutes and then we'll pour half of this mixture over our chicken and veggies. Someone's down here peeking. Mm -hmm. It's <laughs> making me smile. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. So here's what I did. Since we're gonna use half of our little mixture now and then half once we add the rice, um, I just poured it in here, that way it would just be easier. So just take your sauce. Pour it right over top. Mm. And don't forget to reserve some. How amazing is that gonna be? It smells so good. I know, I was gonna say, the way that this smells is just like, that's what's my favorite. All those flavors together. Okay, so we're just gonna cover this with foil. And then this goes into the oven at 350 for 30 minutes. So now that that has like 30 minutes in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and make our rice and you can use whatever rice you want. I happen to just like pick up this brown rice at the grocery store the other day. So I'm just gonna do a bag, if not two bags of this. Two, and two. Two bags, okay, so then when that comes out, we'll add our rice, shredded chicken, the rest of our sauce, and then pop it back in the oven for just like 10 more minutes, and then this is gonna be done. And I was thinking, if you have like yum yum sauce or shrimp sauce, whatever you call it, you could like drizzle this on top after it comes out. Yeah. Oh, you don't even know. Mm -hmm. I would eat this every single day if that was the case. <laughs> like it would be so scrumptious. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get this cooking here in just a few minutes. I wonder, are you just gonna put the rice on top of everything or? Well, no, cause you're gonna shred the chicken and then I'm the rice in and just like mix it all together. Oh, cause I was thinking if you just like make a layer of rice over top of everything, it'll kind of like crisp, crisp it up. like fried rice. I might put it under the broiler for one minute. Oh yeah. Let's do yeah. that. That'll work too. Oh, y'all, I can't even talk to you. I'm always a fan of boiling <laughs> something. Me too. Yeah. Okay, so rice is done. I just like got it out of the bags and sat it here. And then I just pulled this out of the oven to make sure our chicken was done. And it is looking so good. I'm gonna take our tin full off. 
and then like using two forks I'm just gonna kind of gently pull the chicken apart but he doesn't like chicken to be too shredded so I'm gonna leave it in kind of bigger pieces so I got all the chicken I'm just gonna dump this rice right on in kind of stir it around This already just looks amazing. And now we're gonna take the rest of our sauce and then just drizzle it right over top. Have you ever seen a more beautiful sight? And this is like so, so, so simple. So this is going back in the oven for like 10 minutes and then like Funky now we're saying, I think we'll pop it under the broiler for just a minute to kind of crisp up that broccoli and rice and carrots and all of that. Okay, I'm about to get this out of the oven and I was like, oh, I think we have some yum yum sauce in the fridge. Y'all, it went out of date in December. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to tell you. So I tried to like concoct my own. I've made like my own shrimp sauce. I call it shrimp sauce, but like the brand is yum yum sauce. I've made it so many times. Um, I just kind of based it off of what was in my head. There's probably better recipes. So I'm not going to tell you exactly, but it's like mayonnaise, ketchup, a little bit of vinegar, garlic, pinch of sugar, paprika. Mm -hmm. all those things in there you can totally like look up recipes to it so anyways i made a little bit so you can drizzle on top i think you put lemon juice in there sometimes Ooh, too don't you? i think i do sometimes yeah well, anyway we'll try the one that i concocted i'm ready to get this thing out and eat because i cannot wait any longer okay have you peeked at it not since i like left it in the last 10 minutes and then i put it under water for one minute mm. i haven't seen it since earlier it went into the oven so i'm curious here Oh my bunkie. Oh my goodness. Check. You don't even know how happy I am. You know what I was thinking about after? What? I'm um, I'm excited to see what those carrots are like because I feel like they've kind of, you know, kind of... They're like, they know, soften they're a like little bit. They're like soften. They're going to be a little bit sweet now. They got that good uh, glazy, saucy stuff on them. Yes. And the broccoli. Yeah. Like y'all. Let's dig into that. I am ready. Oh my word, like I want the whole pan. <laughs> I'm letting Bunky let me go first today because y'all know like this is all me. You put you put in all the work so you, you deserve <laughs> I usually put in all the work, but you still always get the first bite. Yeah. Bunky. Love it. Love it. I am so happy about that because I'm always wanting to eat some. Y'all, it literally tastes like going to a Japanese restaurant. Yeah? Like it's everything you want, but I have like so much less work, you know? Mm-hmm. It's, it's so good. You know what this reminds me of? In our hometown, we have this restaurant called Saki, and since we've moved here, we haven't gotten it, obviously, and I have missed it so much, and this, like, reminds me of that, but it's even, like, way better, because the flavor of that sauce is so good. Yeah, and, you know, it's homemade, so you, you, know, homemade. you know everything that's in there, too. Oh, and the broccoli and carrots. They're good. Thank you. This is so good. It's so good. And that shrimp sauce I made was good, too. Mmm. Insane. The broccoli and carrots are exactly as they should be. Yeah, a little bit soft. But there's still a little, there's a nice little crunch still to the carrot. Yeah. Kind of, you know? And that teriyaki sauce. This is great. It's so good. And this was a very easy recipe. Yeah, I mean, you're just laying everything in the casserole dish and then... Making the sauce. Yeah. Wow. Long some rice. Okay, two delicious, quick and easy casserole recipes. Y'all are going to love them. I will, of course, have them linked down below for you guys. Make them for your family. Tell me what you think. This one, for sure, is going to be on repeat for me. And Bunky's already told me he wants the pizza one again. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. He's loved it so much. He even ate it cold the other day <laughs> as, like, leftovers. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, you guys will have to try them. I love you so much. Thank you for hanging out with us. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Give this one a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.